Hey everybody, it's Brian here with TechCrunch. We are here with Andy Trice, developer advocate for IBM Cloud. There's a lot going on on this table right here. Tell me a little bit about the project. You know, I'm always looking for ways to essentially showcase our technology in, in unique circumstances. And this developed from a pet project of mine. I was thinking it'd be really cool if we take the drone, we hook it up to the IBM Cloud, um, we start doing some analytics on it, and we just see what we can do. And what I've been able to do is um, write a native app on the iPad that leverages SDK so I can communicate with the aircraft. I can pull images off of it in real time. I can pull telemetry information in real time. While the aircraft is still in flight, then pass that off to the IBM Cloud, saving it in such a fashion that uh, it's first written to local storage so we don't lose data if the network fails. Then it gets replicated up to the cloud, and then that triggers uh, image analysis. Once I have all that information, once I'm able to analyze the image, just determine what's in there. I'm presenting it all of it through a Node.js web application that's running on uh, Bluemix. Is that something that IBM encourages people to do? Once I pitched the idea for a conference, I got approval for it, and I was like, all right, now yeah. it's on me, and then I'm like, I need to actually make this thing work. My first prototype of getting data from the aircraft and having it displayed yeah. up in the cloud on a website um, was put together in under 24 hours. We can take a solution using off-the-shelf mm -hmm. hardware Hook, hook it into cloud services yeah. and very easily combine it with cloud services and turn it into something that can be used today using today's technology. What are the implications for like consumers? What are the um, implications for third-party developers? For the consumer, it's not as much as it is for implications that it can have on enterprise. Anything that's doing inspections, whether you're doing yeah. construction inspections, real or you estate, doing real estate yeah. agricultural inspections, that you want to use the aircraft to get aerial imagery that otherwise could have been a lot harder to obtain. Previously, they might have gone to an aerial photographer. It could be days, it could be weeks, it could be months before you have the imagery that Probably you need. It costs a lot, of, a lot more money. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and it could cost a fair amount. In this case, you might have um, an adjuster with one of these in the trunk of their car. They know they have to document a location, and if it's a location that is accessible, they could just send it up. In theory, you know, you could create this interface, draw a circle on a map, and say, document this. By the time you're back at your desk, and quite possibly even before you're back at your car, that could be tied into part of the workflow. That could be tied into, if you want to do analytics processing, geoprocessing, whatever you want to do, um, it's all packaged together without any additional steps. But what's also interesting when we think about the visual processing, the visual recognition, is we can automatically start to tag all of our media without any user interaction. It's a great way to introduce people to the IBM Cloud. If you haven't seen it before, like mm -hmm. check this out because we're doing really cool things with it.